Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see an internal surface finishing operation which is known as honing, how it is done and what are its specifications. So when I'll talk about honing, it is a finishing operation unlike grinding and lapping and it is done internally to finish an internal hole. So how it is done and what are its parts we are going to see in our next slides. But basically a coolant can be easily used to just cool down the surface finishing process. Again, honing tool has some stones attached to it which helps in your finishing operation. So unlike broaching operation, what is done in honing? It should start from one end if you are broaching or if you are honing a pipe, it should start from one end and reach the other end. So the tool travels, it can be push or a pull direction, it travels fully on the full length and your exact operation of honing is done. So a honing tool has some kind of additional abrasions attached to the outer periphery and also it is in the form of rotary motion so it is rotating as well as it is traveling toward the length so rotation as well as translation both the motion plays an important role in honing operation unlike it was done in broach in broach it was directly removed like your teeth plays an important role in removing the material but in honing the tool is rotating continuously so in this diagram you can see there is a honing tool shown there is a spindle which gives the speed in the form of rotary motion and there is a honing tool on which stones are attached. So what happens during a normal honing process when your spindle actuates, your stones which are on the splines get open and your exact finishing operation takes place. Like it is going inside, your splines get open and it starts rotating and on the splines there are stones which helps in the finishing operation. So in this diagram, it is clearly seen how the splines come out. So in the first picture, what happens? Your honing tool goes inside the hole. In the second picture, due to spring action, the splines come out. And in the third picture, you can see cross hatching lines, which are the part of your finishing product is being produced. So this is the exact process of honing. But the main thing is the tool is rotating. So the stones which are used in lapping as well as honing plays a very important role. If you use aluminium oxide or any other ferrous or diamond tools, the, it plays an important role in your finishing process. Also, temperature, size of the product plays a very important role and there are different parameters which are to be considered while doing your honing process. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.